Henry Magnea Turner was a minister and a political figure. He was perhaps most outspoken about slavery, black nationalism, and immigration of blacks to Africa. Turner was born on a, as a free man in Newberry, South Carolina in 1834 to mixed race parents. His parental grandmother was white, thus giving her children the status of white and free. As a young boy, Turner had a strong desire and yearning to teach and to be known as a teacher. He set out to learn, to teach, read, and write. However, it was perhaps at the time to teach blacks to be literate. At the age of 14 or 15, he set off to Abbeville, South Carolina, where he was employed by a law firm as their janitor. Around that time, Having been inspired by a Methodist revival, he resolved to become a preacher. At 19, he became a licensed preacher, and at the age of 24, he joined the African Methodist AME Church while living in St. Louis. He and his family moved up north as slaves' demand increased in the south. Turner worried that his family, though born free, would be taken captive and sold into slavery which was not unhear of at that time. His wife, Eliza Ann Preacher, whom he married in 1856, was the daughter of a wealth-free black contractor. They conceived 14 children, and of those 14 children, four lived to adulthood. Preaching, evangelizing, and planting churches are largely what caused his influence to grow both in the North and the South. Turner is credited for his role in expanding the AME Church in the South. During Abraham Lincoln's presidency, Turner lobbied for black freedom to be allowed to enlist in the Union Army, to which the president later agreed. Turner was then appointed as the first black chaplain for the United States Colored Troops. His experience as chaplain during the Civil War propelled him into a political career he wanted to focus his energy and attention on matters of politics and civil rights as well as black nationalism. In 1868, Turner was elected as state representative of Georgia and was part of the original 33, a group of 33 African-American members of the Georgia General Assembly. Their election to office was met with resistance by white counterparts. Many white legislators conspired to have these elected men removed from office, but the Supreme Court in Georgia, in a two to one vote, ruled black men had the right to hold the office. After becoming one of the first Southern bishops of the African American AME Church in 1880, which of the renown that followed him deemed him as a controversial figure. Not only was he first elected bishop from the South after a long, continuous battle within the denomination between the North and the South on the issues of slavery, but some of his decisions stirred discontent and discard within the denomination. According to a description by PBS, this far by faith, program by Turner, he ordained a woman Sarah Ann Hughes as a deacon in the church. He built alliances with Baptists. At the first Black Baptist Convention, he gave the speech by which he would be forever known. We have every right to believe that God is a Negro. He stated, proclaiming that a people needed to see their reflection in their divinity. Turner also gained fame and acknowledgement for his writing. He submitted letters to the newspapers during the Civil War, served as a correspondent for the Christian Reporter, and served as editor for the Voices of Mission and later the Voices of the People. A bold fighter, a hard worker, Turner led four missionary trips to Africa and died in 1915 while visiting Windsor, Ontario. 